how to deploy SCCM client on newly built devices that is what we are going to see in this particular video. In one of the previous video where we saw that the devices are not populated in the asset and compliance within devices then we need to check a couple of things one is boundary boundary groups and second is AD system discovery. Once that is done then devices are populated over here. Now let's move forward. Before that if you are yet to subscribe to this particular channel then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. By the way this is your host Yagnesh Malavya welcoming you in this particular channel. So whenever we are looking forward to install client one thing which is utmost important is we should have rights. So we are going to add one of the user in this local machine administrators group. Now we have a user which is created in a domain which is named as cm underscore This particular abbreviation means that configuration manager client push. This particular user is added to local administrators group as you see in member of it is added to local administrators group and local administrators group within that particular client machine is part of administrators group. So that is the first checklist that the CM underscore CP user will have local administrator privilege on this particular device so that it will have privilege to install client on FC CL01. So now we move forward in configuring this particular setting. So for that we will go to administration pane within administration pane site configuration sites we will see this particular site over here right click client installation setting client push installation so enables automatic site wide client push installation if i give a tick and if i select all of this option server workstation configuration manager site system it says that any newly discovered computer will automatically install the client so that is not what i am looking for allow connection fallback to NTLM if the site server is unable to authenticate then this option is useful I will remove this too now I go to accounts and the account that we spoke about I will add it so over here new account and our account name is configuration manager abbreviation CM underscore CP let's check names it's there and the password I will provide Over here we can verify just to make sure that this particular user is having rights so I click on verify and on the client computer where we are looking forward to install double slash FCCL01 slash admin dollar and test connection connection was successfully verified so this user is having rights I will press OK and installation properties if something more we need to define then we can set it over here and I will press apply okay now I will go to asset and compliance and on FCCL01 I will do a right click and install client here here it's saying that for client push installation to succeed we recommend that you verify all dependency the site server computer or client push installation account is a member of local administrator yes that is the first checklist that we did it the site server can resolve the computer name for the client and access to the admin dollar that's what we verified by entering the host name slash admin dollar in the UNC path then in case the communication is not properly established then we need to check the Windows Defender firewall and the next is management point is operational so these things are okay I will move forward click next allow the client software to be installed on domain controller if it's so then we will give a tick mark always install the client software in case if you are looking forward to repair upgrade reinstall then this particular check mark will help I can ignore it install the client software from a specified site if you are looking forward to install from a specific site only then this option is useful this in a case where there are multiple sites this looks good however it's not a mandate for our scenario as we are only having one site so I can just click next summary of the 
things that is going to happen I click next and close so now the installation should trigger to review what is going on I can go to run and I can open CM01 in that SMS logs in that CCM logs so we can see there's an end request for the machine name FCCL01 and above we can see created services in setup on FCCL01 and if I go to this client computer we will see a particular service which is running in the services which is CCM setup yep so this particular service is only present whenever there is an installation or uninstallation that happens normally once it is done this particular service will be not present here instead of that we will see SMS agent host service that is for the operational of SSM client so installation is in progress also on the client computer we can go to C colon Windows CCM setup within that we will see logs here we can monitor one of the log which is CCM setup as well as client.msi so as you see here CCM setup is no longer existing however we are seeing SMS agent host service which is running which was not present that means that client is installed and when we go to this particular log at the bottom we should see CCM setup is exiting with written code 0 so that means that client is installed successfully so now we go to this particular console and here we will go to asset and compliance right now it is showing no so let's refresh this I can click back on the devices it is a question mark still the configuration is in progress and over here if we go to the client computer the client is installed however if we go to CCM logs I update with the date modified so there are a lot of files that are updating and this may take some time to get the complete sync of the information so let's pause this particular video and come back and see the status in console so earlier we were seeing the client status as question mark and active now let's see what is the current status now it is showing as green tick mark so finally this particular client is successfully installed through console if you want to see the status in reporting then we can go to monitoring tab reporting inside reporting we can go to the subfolders and reports site client information here it is here there are multiple options so if I want to see the client deployment status detail I can run by double click or right click run so this will show me the detail total computer with status configuration manager client successfully installed on computers etc similarly like success report here we will see our host name that is successfully installed and if we run the failure it would be zero because we install only on one device and it is successfully done so that's the way we can configure and install the client through console as well as we can check the reports in the monitoring to understand the current status so that's the learning that I am sharing if you like the video then please like and comment because that is really helping me to understand that I am creating a positive impact in someone's life if you are yet to subscribe then please subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is Yagnesh Malavia thanking you for watching this video.